Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Bull Mastiff. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Bull Mastiff The Bull Mastiff was created in 19th century England as a mix between a Mastiff and a Bulldog. Gamekeepers needed a dog to protect their game from poachers, so they experimented with crossbreeding. Bulldogs were strong and courageous at the time, much more so than today's Bulldog. The Mastiff was too big and slow for the role, but combining these two breeds produced the perfect guard dog. It appears to be roughly 40% Bulldog in its final form, with Mastiff genes taking the majority 60%. It was known as the Gamekeeper's Night Dog because it was primarily used to deter poaching on estates and game preserves. However, today's Bull Mastiff is more likely to be a laid-back, loyal, and loving family pet than a poacher's worst enemy. The Gamekeeper's Night Dog can today be found relaxing in family homes and participating in show rings. As always, the pros are up first. Easy to groom, they don't shed much, and their coat only has to be brushed on a regular basis. Loving, this breed is very caring and affectionate with their family members. Exercise needs, they don't have super high exercise needs. A simple walk or some playtime in a fenced-in backyard should suffice. Bull Mastiffs are calm and quiet inside dogs and demand less physical activity. As watchdogs and home guardians, they are pretty amazing and coat of a Bull Mastiff is easy to maintain. This canine is an excellent guard and watchdog who will not hesitate to defend its family. Now it's time for some cons. Aggressive, they might be aggressive towards strangers or other dogs if they are not properly socialized and taught. Barking, barking is more common in them than in many other dog breeds. Training, they can be stubborn and may be difficult to train. They are vulnerable and their excessive weight may cause health concerns and have a short lifespan. Bull Mastiffs can become destructive when they are bored and required a lot of space in the house for a comfortable living. Raising this domineering and strong-willed canine will not be easy. First-time owners should stay away. Interesting Facts Mastiffs were imported to the U.S. in the 1920s by wealthy oil magnate John D. Rockefeller to guard his country estate in Terrytown, N. Y. The Cleveland Browns have a live mascot. Swagger, a Bull Mastiff. You might see him on the sidelines during a game or afterward doing interviews. Mastiffs have been owned by Marlon Brando, Christina Aguilera, Michael Bay, and John Bon Jovi. When Bob Dylan and Catherine Hepburn lived next door to each other, their Mastiff, Brutus, would use Catherine Hepburn's yard as a personal bathroom. Appearance The Bull Mastiff has a short-haired coat that can be red, fawn, or a combination of the two colors. The brindled pattern was chosen by early gamekeepers because of its superb camouflage. A good example of the Mastiff dog breeds should have a dark muzzle and face, with no white anywhere except for a small splash across the chest. Females stand between 24 and 26 inches tall at the withers, with the range for males being 25 to 27 inches. Mastiff gives birth from 4 to 13 puppies, 8 on average, and has an average lifespan of 8 to 10 years. Grooming This breed, like French Bull Mastiff, sheds moderately and is at its heaviest in the spring and autumn. Their coat is a low maintenance that requires brushing once a week to remove any dead hairs. On a Bull Mastiff's coat, bristle and rubber brushes are the ideal equipment to use. Nails will need a trim every two weeks if they haven't filed naturally themselves. Teeth must brush at least three times a week, However, veterinarians recommend this is done daily. Due to their long ears, mastiffs are prone to ear infections. Clean these once a week to keep debris and bacteria out of their ear canal. Baths should be given every eight weeks, but never less frequently than every six weeks. Keep an eye out for any signs of dryness on skin. The dog's natural oils will be redistributed over the body if brushed weekly. Cleaning and drying the folds on the dog's face is required. If not, bacteria can build up and cause infection. Shouts struggle in water like their bulldog cousins. 
teaching them to navigate the water using their webbed paws as oars can help them become more proficient. Barking Bull Mastiffs aren't known for barking excessively or without any reasons. These pooches mostly bark when they want attention from their loved ones or when they are guarding their homes. But apart from this, they don't use their voice all that much. Weather and Climate Bull Mastiffs are excellent cold weather dogs because of their high tolerant to low temperatures and chilly conditions. These pooches are ideal for persons who live in a fairly cold and wintry area. Due to their short muzzle, they are susceptible to heat stroke and temperatures above 106 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. Heat and high temperatures are not well tolerated by bull mastiffs. Keep in mind that mastiffs might be comfortable in the cold, they have a very low tolerance for hot and humid situations. Friendliness, mastiff will get along with other dogs if properly socialized. The breed isn't overly sociable but will enjoy playing with other dogs. Sparks may fly between those of the same sex, especially if dominance comes into play. Regular socialization will be required throughout their lives in order to maintain a friendly personality. Because the mastiff is on the giant scale, smaller children may be injured accidentally. They're naturally playful and love interactive games like fetch. In general, this breed is better suited to older children. This breed will be reserved around strangers because to tis alert and protective nature. Given the right socialization, they'll accept strangers invited by their owner. A well-socialized Mastiff will only become aggressive in threatening situations. Adaptability A fully grown Mastiff can be left alone for up to 10 hours if his food, drink, and sleeping area well prepared in advance. If you don't adapt new Mastiffs to their new environment initially, they may get anxious or stressed when left alone. Bull Mastiffs are big sleepers and sleep a lot. Adult Mastiffs sleep 10 to 17 hours per day. But puppies and pregnant bull mastiffs may sleep up to 20 hours per day. Guard slash watch dog. Bull mastiffs are excellent guard dogs. They are capable of properly protecting their houses and family members from external threats. They do have the protective instincts and the appropriate level of aggression to be an effective guard dog. Drooling. Due to their facial characteristics, bull mastiffs drool a lot. The breed has loose lower lips and elongated jowls, making it difficult to keep drool in the mouth. Due to frequent drooling, owners of bull mastiffs should keep hand towels on hand at all times to wipe up the drool. Health issues. Older mastiffs should be properly examined for issues such as hip dysplasia and should receive regular checkups. Another common malady is osteosarcoma or bone cancer, which affects large dogs frequently tender or lame legs, and swelling along the bone joints, are the earliest signs of this potentially fatal condition. Lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system that can also affect the liver and spleen, with swollen glands in the neck being the first symptom. Have you had any experience with Bull Mastiff? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.